Oh yeah. What is going on? What's up? The sky. What? The sky. The sky? What the heck is Ronnie doing? Look at what Ronnie's doing. Hey man. What are you doing down there? What are you doing, dude? So check this out. We got the new aquarium. So it is officially reef tank time. Reef tank time. Not fish tank time. Reef, reef tank. Totally different. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about a few things. Can't tell you about all the things I'm excited about. I'm really excited about this other thing also, but I can't mention it yet because it's a surprise. Super sad. It's a good surprise. It's, a good surprise <laughs> it's awesome. But anyways, for now, reef tank time. So I'm gonna set this thing up. I've had a bunch of reef tanks in the past. I don't know if I've, uh, if you know that, I've mentioned this before in a couple videos, but I've had many reef tanks in my day. Used to be super into it. And then I just started traveling a lot and doing shows all over the place. And now that I'm trying to stay home and I'm opening up a new home base shop and I'm trying to be here more and travel a little bit less, I'm gonna have a reef tank again. I love them. Super fun hobby to have. Uh, they come in so many different shapes, sizes, colors. Uh, I'll show you a couple of my fish tanks that I used to have back in the day. Full of soft corals, SPS. I had chalices. I had all sorts of really cool pieces. Lobos, hammer corals. Like I had crazy polyps. A lot of really cool things. Really rare mushrooms. Like fun stuff. So. Not those kind of mushrooms. So anyways, I'm gonna start opening this uh, aquarium up, start getting this all set up. My buddy Austin, his company is called AP Frags. He's one of my really good friends. I did a big reef sleeve on him. I'll show you guys in this video. We're gonna meet him in a little bit. This video is probably gonna be a sequence of a bunch of days, so my clothes is probably gonna change a million times. Um, we're gonna set it up, go over the plumbing, actually put water in it, put live rock in it, put the live bacteria cycle through it, maybe a couple fish to start the ammonia going, the lighting, everything. We're gonna go over everything. I'm gonna build a refugium down below. I got a light for that. I'm gonna put Chato in there and a bunch of media for it. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really, really excited about it. Yeah? Super excited. excited. Super excited. And it's gonna look awesome in my living room. Every room looks better with a reef tank in it. That's a fact. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start undoing this. All right, and I gotta build a top for it because obviously you can see the cats are super curious about everything. So I'm gonna have to figure that situation out when we get to it. But for now, let's get unpacking this thing. Here we go with the knife again. Two times. All right. That glass is thick. Hell yeah. So this tank is not acrylic. It is a glass aquarium. Not a big fan of acrylic. I know some people are love acrylic, blah, 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 this, that. I personally don't like acrylic at all. It scratches very easily. I feel like it's not a see-through glass. Way better. Just my opinion. All right. So we got the plumbing, white PVC, it's whatever. Maybe I'll paint it so you can't see it as much in the back. White's kind of ugly. Probably like a pump and stuff. Oh, more styrofoam. Look where Ralphie's sitting. Ralph. Do you see where he is? You little fatty. This refugium looks like it's gonna be a B-I-T-C-H to take out. Oh, it smells, it smells like a fart. 
Ew, smell that. Smell this one. Fart. Ew! Right? It's real heavy. I'm fucking bad at that. Woo! Look who's here! It's Austin! Dope. So, since we've last spoke, we're doing a couple of modifications on this. Like I said before, the PVC is white, which is really ugly. So we sprayed the top part. So now up here, the PVC was white, ugly. Now it's gonna be black. Matches everything else, awesome. This tank comes with these silicone tubes, which are ugh, garbage, not gonna use those. So we got PVC, we're gonna put a bunch of fittings on it and run PVC into the sump. So I'll let you know how that goes when we set that up. Bro, that's a sick sleeve. <coughs> I know a guy who did it. <coughs> yeah, she's here. Look at that. What? I fucking I love that tank up there, bro. Just, you know, I was sad when I got rid of him, man. All right, we're back. Hey, Hayes. You eating breakfast? Oh, yeah? What's up? Is Austin setting up the new fish tank? Mm -hmm. It's cool, right? Yeah. All right, so we're about to fill up the tank. But we just finished doing the plumbing. So like I said before, the plumbing sucked. Stock plumbing, no bueno, we got rid of it. So Austin went and did this Mac Daddy PVC setup. Check this thing out. Now we got return and the outlet, all PVC. Nice and organized. Both have valves so we can adjust the flow on both sides. Goes straight down into my bio media. Then it goes down in here to the protein skimmer. This is where we're gonna set up the refugium. Put the refugium, the refugium light is right above everything. Then you have the return pump right down here. So boom. Be ready for the water, bro. We're getting it wet right now. Get it wet. All right, so now we got sand in here. In case you guys are wondering, I'm using Carib C, company that I've been using for years. They've been around for years. I, you know, my last reef tank, I started doing this stuff over 10 years ago. They've been around forever. Never had a problem. This is live sand, so it has all the bacteria that the tank is gonna need to start cycling properly. I also have another additive once we put the water in this tank right now. I'm gonna put another uh, bacteria, a good bacteria solution from this company. I don't know where it is, I'll find it. Um, but I'm gonna add that to the water. That's gonna start the cycling of the tank. We're gonna put some Chato in the refugium and get that going with a bunch of other copepods and other uh, beneficial organisms get that going we're gonna let this run for a couple days and then on Sunday Austin's gonna bring over the rock and then we're gonna set up the rock finally on Sunday and then we're gonna give it probably about a two-week cycle before I start adding any fish or coral or anything like that I might add one or two fish right off the bat just to get that ammonia going through the tank and it actually helps cycle out the tank with the bacteria active the ammonia from the fish or you can add ammonia without fish to start the cycle but you can do it either way i have i have the additive for it or i'll just get a couple cool fish so stay tuned that one? isn't that the one you guys try feeding the other snakes here yeah Just hold him. He's in my ear. <laughs> He's in your ears? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
How's the salumi on that thing? Right on point. Right on. Look at that. Boom. Everything is good to go. Now we just gotta let this cycle through. We're gonna throw some rock in there, get the refugium going, put some couple clownfish. Back in the game, boy. That's it. Boom. Hell yeah. So excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, careful. Oh my goodness. Howdy. Howdy. We're at Austin and Becca's. Picking out some rocks. So, this, uh, I know I said I was going to do live rock, but we're actually doing dead rock. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this situation first real quick since I know I said before I was doing live rock and you guys were like, yo, Tyler, what the f***? <laughs> thought you were doing live rock. Y'all are doing dead rock. And that's the reason I wanted to start with live rock too. I just didn't know better. But think about it. You buy a live rock that's already been in an established tank. It already has all these organisms that are already on it, which is why I wanted it in the first place. I wanted to just put in some rock in my tank, and then obviously my reef keepers know when you turn off your fish tank lights at night, that's when all the cool stuff comes out. You know, it's like a whole different world at night. With that said, when you buy live rock that already has living organisms and somebody else's stuff all over it, you're going to get aphtasias, which are a pain in the ass everybody knows that bristle worms dude you can get Bobby you can you yeah you can get rock with a, a bunch of crazy ass worms um mantis shrimp i've had tanks where I've, I've bought live rock before and got a mantis shrimp in my tank and your mantis shrimp will just murder everything in your tank so austin had a great point Instead of doing live rock and having to deal with all those potential issues, especially aftasias, which is like, dude, everything has, they're, they're, they're just everywhere. Yeah, they steal, sting all your corals, and dude, I hate aftasia. I hate them. So, instead of having to deal with that, we're going to start off with something that has been dried out. We're going to just clean it up really well, and then we're going to let it do its thing in the tank we're gonna introduce all the copepods and all that other fun stuff right that's it so that's how we're gonna do it it's gonna take a little bit longer to cure or start these rocks but in the end it'll be way better yeah no aftasia no bristle worms none of that bad stuff this is staghorn right this is uh, a Haitian or a Tonga or whatever. This is sick. <laughs> Look at all these frags. This is crazy. Look at this. Just keeps going. It's crazy. Look at those plates. Dude. What the plate is so sick right there. Oh my god, the blue one. This room is crazy. Yeah, it is for sure, man. For sure, we got a little operation. You just put on coral glasses? Yeah. yeah. What the heck is this? Check them Stop. out. Stop. Oh, man. I wish you guys oh, had a pair man. of these bad boys. Dude, everything looks so much crazier now. I wish I could show you guys. 
Like even, even Bentley's ready. Bentley's ready to check out the corals. Yeah. yeah. Say hi, YouTube. Hell yeah, dude. So like I mentioned before, this is my homie Austin. What's up, guys? AP Frags, guys. I got all my coral from him years and years ago. I was actually, we were saying in the video uh, in the video before. Did we mention in the video before? Were we recording? Uh, I don't remember. We might have. But yeah, coral, or, uh, Austin, I was one of like the first few people to start buying coral off Austin. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. the second person that bought uh, coral off us when we first started up our business. Uh, like, ten, crazy. like 10 years ago. Crazy. But yeah, we've come a long way. Check this out. It's crazy, dude. I'm we'll gonna put his info down here at the bottom. Go check it out. Order some stuff. He mails it. Trying to get this thing all set up with the rocks and stuff. Austin gave me another AI light that I'm gonna set up. Right now, I'm gonna take out, I don't know, maybe like three or four gallons because I'm gonna put the rocks in. Obviously, the rocks are gonna displace the water. So make sure before you add rocks to your tank, you take out some water or you're just gonna overflow your tank. So I'm gonna drain out a little bit. Then I'm gonna place my rocks in there how I want them. Just pressure clean them earlier. Get everything all set up and glued in place. And then it's fish time. Can't wait. Yeah, I read all my comments for the most part. Anyway, so check this out, guys. Boom, I got both lights set up from Austin. Two HD primes. I'm gonna put everything, the links to that at the bottom. We got the water. I got the, the rock scape up in there. Awesome. We can put the chato on the bottom. We got the ceramic bio balls down there, too, to help cycle the tank out. We got some clownfish also that we're gonna put in the tank. That's gonna be cool. This Say is hi. Skylar. Say hi, Sky. What's up? And Dizzy, they just came over to say what's up. Good friends of mine. She's like my niece. So anyways, we're gonna put the clownfish in here shortly. I just wanna get this cycled out, let the water clear a little bit, and then I got some frostbite clowns we're gonna show you guys here in a second. Up in the top right, yeah, under see? the light on the pole. Yeah, why is that one shed its tail? He's okay, shedding because he's growing. Oh, he's growing. Mhm. Mm oh, poor guy, it's like ripping. Yeah, it's tail kind of. ripping. That's like that like that's that's skin. That is in the water. There's skin all over. Why is the skin in the water? Because they go in the water to help soak it off, so it doesn't hurt them. So it doesn't hurt them. Yeah. What? No, this is called the indigo sink. Come here. You won't bite him. He's not going to do anything. What is he trying to do to you? He's just hanging out. Yeah. Just exploring. Oh, here, come here. Come here, Sky. Touch it. Hold him. She wiggle it down. Hold him. He's okay. Yeah. Put your arm out like that. Okay. 
<laughs> See how smooth he is? Yeah. Cool, right? Here, just grab his whole body. He's just sneaking on him. Really like that. Grab his whole body like that. Just let him. What is he doing? You gotta hold his whole body. Right? So put your hand, put another hand over here. Put your hand here. Let her let wrap around you. He's gonna try to slit her. He's slitting me. Huh? Almost, Okay. Gonna hold his. Snakes, you gotta hold their whole body so they feel comfortable. And then he'll relax. Why is it, why is it? He's just trying to slither like a snake. That's what they do. Slither? Yeah. He slither? Why is he slither? Yeah. Look at me. Let me see. Skylar, look over here. Skylar. Look at your daddy. Like this. Right? There you go. Hey, just let him, just let him crawl around you. Daddy, what is he doing? What is He's just checking you out, right? He's never held a snake before. He's not squeezing you, right? Uh -huh. Watch. Just move his head like this so he doesn't squeeze you. You're good. I'm making sure he's not squeezing you. Get out of here. Ralphie. Silly Ralph. That's Ronnie. Ronnie, whatever your name is. Ronnie. Watch, put him right back in the cage like this. Put his head in here. Put his head right back in there and he'll crawl right back in his home. Ready? What? The, mm -hmm. See? It's a tail. Right? I can't believe it.